I'm going to talk about a topic today which may sound uh, uncomfortable because we are not aware of many things. We have love for Islam. We are committed to Allah and Rasul. We want to improve ourselves. That willingness, that commitment, that attachment, that orientation is there. But a lot of information and knowledge we don't have. So some of it will be uncomfortable. Uh, but we will be, uh, because we, our, our goodwill, we will be, uh, inshallah, benefiting from it. And we will need to prepare ourselves so that we can change. It's about dressing. It's about Islamic code of dress. And we will uh, we'll see how we should learn from Quran and Hadith about dress. The verse I have recited in front of you from Surah Ahzab, it says, when believers believe, it's uh, uh, mu'min or mu'mina, believer male and female, when they believe, once they accept Allah and Rasul, they should not have another view that is different from or contradictory to Allah and Rasul. So we all align. If something is different, if, if we think this is, uh, we don't understand, we accept. Sami'na wa ata'na, as Quran says. We hear and we obey. Because that is good for us, we may not have the wisdom now. So Allah is saying when they hear from Allah and Rasul, they don't have another view. They don't have a different view. They don't have they, they, they don't think away from Allah and Rasul. Because Allah and Rasul gave us something that is good for us. And that is for peace and tranquility in this world and Jannah in the other world. So and then say, then whoever moves away from Allah and Rasul, they have gone away from the right path, far away. Balala Mubina means they are misguided far away, clearly. Mubin means very obvious, established. So this is one verse. It's a general verse that our thinking, our preference, our choice, our acceptance and rejection should align with Allah and Rasul, Quran and Sunnah. Anything that is uh, uh, contradictory, I reject. Anything that is acceptable, I accept. So there is a principle in it. The principle is on ibadat, Ibadat, meaning fasting uh, and um, prayer and things like that, Hajj and Zakah, whatever has been prescribed is exactly what it is. No plus or minus. In other words, if something has not been prescribed, has not been practiced by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has not been taught by him, has not been approved by him, then in Ibadat, something related to Allah's direct command, the pillars and related matters, then we don't have anything to add or subtract. Living, whatever has not been forbidden is allowed. There, everything is forbidden unless Allah has ex or Rasul explicitly approved in ibadah. In mu'amilat, if dealing with people, everything is permitted except what is explicitly forbidden. Can you see the two uh, angles? Now, let me share uh, some verses and some hadith. Then Allah says, Ya Bani Adam, Qad anzalna alaykum libasan, yuadi sawatikum, warisha, wa libasu taqwa dhalika khayr, libasu taqwa dhalika khayr, dhalika min ayati Allah al-allahum yaddakkaru. You can cover your aura, your nakedness. This is what Allah is saying. And also as an adornment, as a beauty, as a source of respectability, nicety, decency, okay? Then Allah is saying, libas taqwa dhalika khayr. The taqwa libas, libas that is in, inspired by taqwa, is the best. This is Allah's command. And say, this is dhalika uh, khayr, dhalika min ayati illahi la'allahum yaddakkaun. These are the signs of Allah. Signs of Allah for people who think, who reflect, okay? Then Allah is also saying about uh, seeing He's saying, tell the Muslim men, believing men, 
that they should lower their gazes and protect their private parts. This is for their purity. In Allah khabirun bima yasna'un, Allah knows about whatever is being thought by the people. Yasna'un sana'a means to manufacture. So whatever we are thinking, the intention, the purpose inside us, Allah knows. So Allah is saying that the men should lower their gaze and protect their uh, chastity. And then the next verse, Allah is saying, وَقُلِّ mu'minat, Tell the Muslim female, believing female, يَغْضُدْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِنَّ وَيَحْفَدْنَ فُرُوجَهُنَّ That same thing, that they absorb basarun is the sight. So lower their, their gaze and they should also protect their private parts. And they should hide their beauty. Whatever comes out, sometimes air, uh, the wind may uh, remove some parts accidentally. That's what becomes uh, visible because of accident, because of wind, because of things outside their control. But they should hide their beauty. Then, that means they should they should have a khimar khimar is their uh, cover head cover that flows and uh, it is more explicit that the head cover should not just come here to the to the neck as mo many people do Allah's command is that it should cover their chest. Okay? Allah's command. Ya ayyuhal ya nabi, O Prophet, Qul li azwajika, tell your wives, wa banatika, your daughters, wa nisail mu'minin and Muslim uh, females, what should be? Yudnina alayhinna min jalalihinna. So they should wear an overall. Overall, this is called uh, jalabiya. Jalabi bihinna, the overall, the home dress, should be covered but with an overall, so home dress and outside dress, there is a difference. So this is for any command, that not only should be, uh, the head cover should cover the chest, but also overall should cover the home dress. This is Allah's command. So they will be recognized as the virtuous believing women, and they will not be harassed. Okay, so these are, Commands of Allah. Now, hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu is, uh, I will share some. First one is, the Prophet sallallahu this is Bukhari, the first book of hadith. The Prophet sallallahu cursed men who imitate women and women who imitate men in dress. Okay, wearing dress or any uh, style, men and women should not follow uh, the other. Then another hadith in Muslim, which is the second book of hadith. No man should look at the aura of another man and no woman should look at aura of another woman. Aura, aura is something that is forbidden to show and forbidden to see. For men, the aura is from navel to knee. But we don't go out with a bare upper part. That's part of decency. For women, the aura is except the face, the palms, and the feet, everything is aura. Okay? So, therefore, it is important for us that nobody should look at aura. For men, that is. For women to women, the head is not aura. Ne neck is not uh, aura. The arm is not aura. But for men. So, we can't show men who are not, uh, who are not forbidden to marry. Quran and Hadith, but not all these things are known, and therefore now that you know, uh, it is important for us.